Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Shadow of the Colossus. And perhaps for the last time the familiar animation plays a Colossus's destruction, the shadows standing around wander and the idol falls. But this time things are different. Because this time is the final Colossus, number 16, and Dormin speaks once more. And for this one, Dorman's discussion is less about the Colossus that we are going to face and more about the imminent arrival of Lord Emon and his followers. But before we go, let's just have one last look down this immense um, throne room or worship room. These are the remains of the other 15 Colossi that we have taken down. And we have taken down a lot. This is a huge room that is now filled with rubble. But of course, there is now one statue still standing that must be taken down if we are to be reunited with Wanda. So for the last time we shall saddle up on Agro and we shall go and search our way towards this final Colossus and I must <laughs> confess that I'm feeling quite apprehensive of this one. I mean this is the final Colossus. They will have saved something special, something hard, something tricky, something very Deadly, I think, is going to be coming up. And I, if you remember at the beginning of the game, I was, uh, you know, I was feeling quite scared of these these colossi. You know, as we, as we, uh, um, you know, came across the, you know, those huge giants for the first time. But as we kind of got through, I think the colossi have become more kind of puzzly, and they've lost a little bit of their. Uh, um, the fear. I mean, they've still got that kind of impressiveness, but they're not quite so scary. But I think now, number sixteen, the last one, there's going to be something special. Coming. Now, of course, Shadow of the Colossus was made by the same people that made the game Ico. Um, and if you've never played that, it's a game um, with a very kind of similar um, cinematography, that kind of yellow and yellows and greens, but it's more set in a kind of a, a castle or a palace and then in, than in an open land. And the, the makers of, of Ico and Shadow of the Colossus has been, have been working for a long, long, long time. Um, now on a third game called The Last Guardian and this game was announced now I think it was way back in kind of like 2007 2008 ish May maybe slightly later but um, people have known this game has been coming up and it's been delayed and it's been delayed um, various people involved with it have been moved on to various projects or kind of left Sony and or, or become reallocated but um, this is a game which people have been desperate I've been desperate to play um, for, for years now and yet still there has been no sign of a, of a, of a release date um, and now you can see that I'm, I'm riding the beloved horse um, Agro who has been the only kind of living companion I've had for this kind of whole game and uh, um, the makers of um, the Last Guardian have said that the, the, this next game, if and when it ever it actually sees the light of day, is kind of based around this idea of a relationship between the between the lead character and his companion or his animal companion. That is, um, so expect the kind of uh, the that idea of kind of um, interaction of kind of riding and helping. Whoa! I almost died <laughs> while having a nice little look back at the uh, and the world there. I think this is the furthest I've come this way. Um, in in the game, I was, I, I was moaning a little bit um, in the in the previous video that we always seem to kind of go back back behind the palace, but uh, but actually this time we've very much come forward. You can kind of see why it's actually a very very open area down here. Um, looks like with only one big object in front of us, which is that big kind of rocky structure, which looks like some sort of kind of entrance um, in the middle. Um, and, and, I mean, Agro, as, as I've said several times throughout these videos, is fantastically um, animated. He really does feel like a kind of a, a living horse. Uh, he looks around, he walks around, he 
um, the animations are, are you know, clearly based off kind of real life animals, and, and you do feel a kind of an attachment um, to him, and you do kind of feel um, that he is. Uh, he has got a bond with the character here, Wanda, and so if the makers are kind of taking that idea um, further, as I discover yet another cliff face, um, if the makers are are, um, are taking that idea further into a new yeah. game, then that would I think that that will be quite fun to explore. Yeah. And there's very 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 other little details about uh, what else the game um, yeah. is about. There has been a trailer and uh, a leaked trailer, and if you do search around on Google Lost Guardian trailer, you'll be able to see some see some. Um, but those trailers now are years yeah. old. You know, this yeah. they're not they're not just from like last week or anything, the trailers are years old and it's been rumoured perhaps The Last Guardian will be a PS4 um, uh, release um, um, title but uh, yeah. who knows now Ico and Shadow of the Colossus are based in the same world and yeah. the, the connection between them will become kind of clearer as we kind of approach the end, whoa bit of a jump there um, and I assume therefore that The Last Guardian will also be based in the same world and um, the connections between those games may be apparent or it may simply be that you know, they kind of share a, a location but we seem to have found some sort of door and normally when you get to these places you then find a little hole that you can crawl through or a way to kind of go round but I can't see anything to climb up on Oh, there's some stairs here, so maybe we can climb up the wall and then kind of get up above the gate as Agro is following me around. Hmm, I can't see the next step up though. There's stairs on the other side, but this wall, the the kind of mountain wall there, looks very flat, and I'm not seeing any kind of handholds or bushes to grab or anything like that. There, there are some th st there is some gaps at the top there but no obvious way to get to them. I wonder if this kind of light thing has any... Oh there you go. Oh, it, was, it was just a just a rather Zelda-like puzzle of sh shine the light uh, in the right direction. And the doorway has opened. Now none of the other colossi had um, a, a sealed entrance. And what I was going to wonder with this game actually is that can you actually visit the Colossi in the wrong order? Because um, obviously you follow the sword and it takes you to a specific one, but I guess there's nothing really to stop you to go to the other one. So yeah. if, you, if you know the answer to that, do let me know in the comment section. But maybe that door is, is what stops you coming to this one um, beforehand. Yeah. And I just edited out a little bit of the uh, the story there. All I did there was I saved the game and I collected the the lizard there to improve my stamina. As Agro seems to be having some issues navigating the uh, <laughs> rather open ground, and it looks like we are entering a far more built-up area again. Remember, for the last few Colossi we've had kind of palaces and cities, and then previous to that everything was kind of more like fighting them on a field or in a desert. Um, but this is definitely some kind of structure. Um, looks like we need to get across this gap. There's a bridge, but there's a gap before the bridge. Um, I think I could probably jump that, but I do Agra might be able to jump that. I don't know if that's one of the reasons. I mean, he's still with me, so let's see if we can use him. Will he jump or will he stop? Oh, yes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, dear. The bridge is dropping. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I 
guess now there's nothing to lose. No mono, no aggro. Okay, fine, you can forget what I was saying about feeling scared. Now I'm just feeling thoroughly miffed. You can't kill aggro. I'm actually feeling a little, little mournful about the horse there. And like all great emotive situations, I feel the need to take it out on someone. So come on, 16th Colossus. You might be scary, but nothing's as scary as losing my horse. I'm actually feeling speechless. I'm sorry, I should be waxing lyrical or giving some big kind of poem here, but I cannot believe that the only kind of partnership or friend that we actually had in the game has been taken from us. And the way he fell as well, that was horrible. And the fact that his last act seems to have been to actually kind of throw us off him, to off, off onto the other side. We've got some sort of entrance here. Selfless to the end. So if I'm doing a bad action here by raising this kind of demon thing, that wasn't Agra's fault. If anyone's going to die here, it should be the Wanda character. It shouldn't be the Agra character. I'm actually irritated. I'm irritated and annoyed. Seems to be the end of the trail. So where are we supposed to go? I'm not going to jump down there after Agra. Maybe I should have done. Maybe I should just go in there after him. The sky has gone black. And whatever the 16th Colossus is... It's there. Deeply black Colossus against a black sky too... Wow, here, listen to that roar. Two incredibly bright hands, like bracelets of lightning and fire. But kind of humanoid as well, like the hands, the arms are kind of human, but there's no legs there that I can see. And as the beautiful music kicks in again, I feel this has become not only a mission about saving mono but also about avenging aggro ow Arrgh. oh god oh i see he wants to take the horse from me and then he wants to hit me with the lightning bolts you know what I've said in the previous videos about feeling sorry for the Colossi and, you know, these kind of, like, sad creatures? I'm taking it all back. They have killed the horse. They have taken aggro from me. I'm going to take this one down. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy it a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we can shield ourselves from those lightning blasts. It, it took... And we've got a bit of a hole here. So some kind of tunnel. Maybe we can make our way over to the Colossus by avoiding its shots. I took two shots and it took me about to two-thirds health, so I'm guessing I can survive one more with my current health before I die, but see how we Ow! Yes, I didn't actually mean to put that theory to the test, but I guess I did. Oh He waits till I get up there. Growl is really low as well. It's not. There's nothing kind of animal-like about it. It's almost. Actually, I'll take the back of this. It's almost like one of those, like you know, like an elephant when it kind of stands there and, doesn't, and kind of it's kind of talking to other animals. That deep, low, just sound that just says, "I am here and I am dominant." But looks like we need to dodge from one to the other. Those lightning bolts are... Whoa, 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 whoa! We almost got stuck on the side there. That could have been fatal. The music's... It's a very lo lovely little combination. Whoa! 
very different as well. I was expecting some sort of very kind of like spectacular, you know, trumpet sounding, fast strings, pulsating music, but actually it's it's kind of slow and it's gently kind of lilting with just that little kind of beat underneath, that kind of do, 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 it's kind of just making me feel, it's kind of tense. Without necessarily being driving, I assume that I'm safe from the those lightning bolts up here. Mm. Hate doing this little maneuver. I think we had to do it on the very first Colossus to get to him, but. I've never been particularly good at it. I always feel you need to put the, the controller towards the way you want to jump, but you don't. You actually just have to pull backwards, whichever way you're doing it. Oh, he almost got me again. At this point, I'm not sure whether Wanda is the hero, the assassin, the, the wizard, the priest, the... the Avenger. close. But wherever I am, he has no choice anymore. There's nothing else that he can do. He can't go back to where he came from because he stole the sword from those people. His beloved partner in crime, Agro, is gone. Ow! Oh, I'm going to get this guy. I am so going to get this guy. And Wanda here has been through so much. We've fallen, we've fallen off huge flying creatures into lakes. We've been dropped off the top of massive colossi. We've been charged down by bulls. We've been punched by the massive fists of colossi. We've been shot by lightning bolts. And now essentially we've got nothing left. We've got, we've got these shadows. We've got 15 colossi shadows kind of inside us. Probably powered more by the power of Dormin now than we are by whatever kind of humanity we had in the first place. This is a big, big gap. And we made it, just about. Ow! Gosh! Oh, I'm exposed. If he fires again, I'm dead. No, 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 no. Come on, move, 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 and dive! He's almost killed me about five or six times now but almost is not close enough I tell you now I'm not gonna almost kill him and a little cut scene we get a better look at our opponent it seems to be a man in a dress which I have to confess was not exactly what I was expecting for the final Colossus but if it's a man in a dress, then I need to take down. Then a man in a dress, I shall take down. And just like Colossus number one, all those missions ago, we begin the climb. I guess that's the first part of this Colossus done. I wonder what kind of... It's not going to be as simple as climbing and stabbing him in the face. There's going to be something else up here. Especially with the Colossus that looks like this one. There's nothing friendly about this one. It's it's dark. We've got this storm around us. And it, it, I don't know. I can't quite tell if the storm is for the Colossus, because the Colossus is the bad thing, or whether the storm is for us, because we're the bad thing. You know, We're the one that's about to try and raise this creature dormant. It's a bit like those kind of scenes you get in Ghostbusters, where where like you know the demon is being raised and there's lightning flashing around the place, and you know you know something bad is kind of coming. But in this particular case, it's the bad thing, whatever we are attached to, or it's the bad thing, you know, what we are doing. We must be getting pretty high now. We're almost, almost to the Colossus. that huge hands with that golden bracelet 
I wonder if the bracelet itself is a weapon. I mean, I mean oh, it's got a fire eva. You can see it. I have to make sure I don't touch that. I mean, that's going to hurt. Looks like the Colossus itself is is kind of on fire. Or whether they're kind of just holes. I mean, maybe all the Colossi have kind of been f powered in some way by kind of some sort of inferno or inner heat. But this one's definitely exposed. It gives it kind of a I don't know. It gives kind of a, a hell like hell like feel or a demonic feel. So how do I get past loads of fire? Ooh, hang on, this isn't fire. This must be a gap in the fire. That looks one of like one of those, like not a sigil, but I need to hit it and it'll do something. So let's give it a good stab. Well, I definitely heard him, and he's reached around. I wonder if I'm supposed to grab that hand in some way. And brilliant, I had to do that jump that I hate. I seem to be jinxing myself today. I mentioned the partnership between me and Agro, and Agro has fallen off a cliff. I mentioned that jump that I hate, and now I've had to use that jump, and now I'm... Oh, oh look at that face. I wonder if I can run up this arm. Please don't move, please don't move. And there's another one of those little blue things there. Oh, look at those eyes staring at me. It's kind of human, but at the same time, this is kind of robotic. So he's brought his other hand over. Can I get onto that? <laughs> this Colossus is gigantic. Look at the size of me compared to... I mean, I'm smaller than his finger. And there he is. As I stare at him and he stares at me. Now what? Is that his heart? Am I supposed to, like stab him in the heart, but I I don't think I can reach it from here. <laughs> this is a truly bizarre feeling, just looking into the eyes of the Colossus. Actually, there's the sigil. That's that's what I need to aim for. But I can't get there from here. I don't know what if I shoot him in it. Oh, we didn't like it. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, bad plan, bad plan. We need a new plan that doesn't involve falling off this giant. That was a truly surreal moment, standing on the back of the Colossi's hand, just looking into his eyes and having him look back at me, and it's almost like both of us kind of going, yeah, so now what? <laughs> I guess in some ways the Colossus has a choice. I mean, the Colossus doesn't have any kind of reason to hate me, whereas if Wanda wants to see Mono, if Wanda wants to get revenge for Agro, if Wanda wants to release Dormin, this creature must die. I wonder if these creatures kind of know what they're doing and know that they're keeping Dormin sealed up? Like, are they aware of their kind of mission and their purpose, or as far as they're concerned, are they just kind of creatures existing like everyone else? But the fact that some of them seem so angry towards me implies that they know they're guarding something. In fact, some of them have been described as guardians. Which that takes back to that idea of the, the last guardian I was talking about before. I mean, maybe the last guardian will be the final Colossus, and I didn't manage to grab that. I think I landed on that finger without actually grabbing the hair. Once more I climb. I wonder if this will be the last time or whether I'm going to come sailing off this thing over and over. I'm surprised the music hasn't changed again, you know, to be a kind of a more dramatic idea, but I don't know. This music's it's just unsettling. There's something very, very, very wrong here. It's those scaly ringed fingers pass by. This in some ways seems like a dress, I mean it has that kind of dress feel, but it also kind of looks a bit like a prison, like almost like this Colossus is locked in place, which is unlike any of the others. I wonder if there's something different about this one, you know, is it, like is this dormant or something, you know, or like, is there some reason why this particular Colossus would have to be 
locked here so it can't go anywhere else. But it was also behind those doors as well. Like, so maybe whoever locked away Dorman also felt the need to lock away this one. Alright, let's try and be a bit more careful with this jump. I think that's in the right place. I'll, I'll assume he'll react in the same way. So if I stab this, if I stab this, then the hand should stop moving. And I'll do this little run up the arm again. Oh, he's moving it, he's moving it. And there, look at his eyes, top left hand. Just staring down at me. He's not actually, you know, he could easily swipe me there, but he's not. He's just, he's just looking at me. But no, I'm not. I'm not going to allow myself to feel sympathy for this one. I'm not even going to entertain the idea. Let's try and get ourselves in position. Okay, I'm definitely not going to run across this. And again, we stare at him. Now, the sword did look at the heart as well as looking at the top of the head. I'm just going to keep kind of stabbing the arm in the hope that that kind of keeps me in the, the same position. I wonder if I, I shouldn't have gone for the head yet, but oh god, no, don't call anger. That's just not you depressed. It was somewhere over there. Actually, it's more like the shoulder, I think, than the head. I wonder if I can. I don't think I can jump to that. It's just too, it's too far, but maybe I can shoot it. Oh dear, no, the hand is moving away again. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. These eyes have gone yellow. That normally happens just before an attack by these colossi. Oh, we're moving. And he's put his hand over to protect the shoulder which we shot. And yes. Well, we're here. This is the head. This is it. The head of the 16th final Colossus. The last sigil. Look at this horns. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> we almost had another plummet. Look, that, that face is, is human, the shape of it, but it's made of rock. We've got these, these horns on the side. I said earlier, it's, it's like a demonic Colossus. and. It literally has got demon horns. In fact, actually, I mentioned Ico earlier, that the lead character in Ico is horned. Perhaps we'll talk about that after we've taken this down. And here it is, the sigil. I haven't seen any, any other sigils on the way up, so I'm assuming this is the one and only sigil. If he stops squirming for a minute, Here we go. Plunging the magic sword into the head and the skull of the final Colossus. The storm raging around us. Look how far away the ground is from us. The music again, still not dramatic, just kind of sad. Just like his 15 brothers, the Colossus writhes in pain and tries desperately to get us off. We all know there's only one outcome here. Oh, he says, and it's prob probably me falling off the whole thing. And one last blow. Colossus will breathe its last. And to quote someone else, I think we can say that it is finished. Final shadows enter Wanda. The key is complete. Dormin will be free. And in the final episode of the Shadow of the Colossus, 
we will discover what happens to our hero, to Wanda, to Mono, to Dormin, to Lord Emon. So please join me for the final Shadow of the Colossus.